the middle of December, so that means we are coming up on a brand new year. I know we're all looking forward to the year 2022 and see what it's going to bring for us. One of my favorite things to do at this time of year is to look up all the new picture books that are going to be released in the following year and write down some that I think are going to be my favorites. So I'm going to do a little research right now and figure out which books I think will be big hits this year and then come join me as I share some of my favorites. great ones to read aloud in the year 2022. Since they haven't been released yet, I don't have the actual books, but I'm going to tell you what each one of them is about. The first one that I found that I'm really excited about is the book Beauty Woke. This is a powerful story of both pride and community. Beauty is a Puerto Rican girl who is awake to her beauty as well as those of her friends and family around her. But as she grows older, she notices that people who look like her are not always treated so kindly and she starts to forget what makes her feel special. But her community really bands together to remind her of her beautiful heritage. Beauty Woke is one of the picture books that I'm excited to read in the year 2022. The next book that I'm looking forward to is American Desi. This is a poetic story with expressive art, and it really empowers South Asian children living in the United States. It celebrates being bicultural, as a young girl is longing to figure out where she fits in. I think this will be a great book to add to your classroom library next year. Another book that's coming out in 2022 is called Strong. In this book, Rob dreams of becoming a champion strongman, but he feels like he can't fit in with his bright leggings and his unicorn shirts. Will Rob find a way to step into his true self and become the champion that he knows he is? I'm excited to read this picture book next year to find out. Another book that I'm looking forward to in 2022 comes out in early January. This one is called The Year We Learned to Fly, and it's brought to us by Jacqueline Woodson and Rafael Lopez. In this story, a brother and sister are feeling pretty bored in their house, and their grandmother tells them to use their imagination to lift them up and out of their boredom and they do amazing things as they wander outside of their minds and get creative. Then again, on another day, this boredom strikes again and the siblings are quarreling, and the grandmother reminds them to use their imaginations. She talks about how their ancestors used to do this as a way to show the world their strength and resilience. I think this might be the one that I'm most looking forward to, but we'll have to see. And I didn't even realize it, but I have two Jacqueline Woodson books on my list for 2022. She has two picture books coming out in the next few months. This one is coming out in May, and it's called The World Belonged to Us. This one celebrates the joy and freedom of summer in the city. It talks about all the fun that kids have playing tag and hide and seek and chasing the ice cream trucks and believing that anything is possible on those long summer days. I'm especially looking forward to this one because as someone who didn't grow up in the city, I really want to see what it's like and be a part of these kids' world as they enjoy their summertime. Another one that I'm looking forward to next year. Also in January, the book Fly comes out. In this story, a young girl wants to become a double dutch jump roping champion. So even though she doesn't really know how, her grandmother was a double dutch legend and she knows that if she sets her mind to it, she can become one too. There is pure joy and the power of community that radiate throughout this book about a young black girl's perseverance and confidence in following her dreams. With the help of her friends, her family, and her community, will she be able to succeed? We'll have to check this book out in January to find out. And the last book that I wanted to share with you is called You Have a Voice. And the author of this you might recognize as Vera from The Tutu Teacher. She is very active on Instagram in sharing books and diverse literature to share in your classroom. She is a kindergarten teacher and this book celebrates the power that every child holds in using their voice to make change for good. It 
really empowers kids and adults alike to use their voice and will inspire all kids to take action on things that are important to them in the world because even kids can make a difference. So these are just a few of the picture books that are being released. There are going to be so many more. And one way that I like to share them is in our Facebook group. So I'll leave a link in the description box down below or you can come join our Classroom Read Aloud Facebook group. And in that group, not only do I share tips for using Read Alouds in the classroom, but I also like to share books as they're being released. So if you're looking for more brand new books throughout the year, be sure to join us over there. I hope that this was helpful for you and that you'll be able to pick up some of these new books for your classroom in the new year. If you have any others that you are looking forward to, leave them in a comment below so that I can add them to my list. If you're excited to hear more about Read Alouds, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, because I'll be back next Sunday night with more Read Aloud tips and book ideas for you to use in your classroom right away. Have a great week.